Good morning, folks. Filaments popping all night. None headed our way, but they look nice. We got shots of our star to begin today, because after the news, we have a little addendum regarding the current earthquake watch and some recent quakes. We'll begin at the Indian River Lagoon, where algae blooms ravaged the local ecosystem and a downward spiral is now claiming dolphins, birds, manatees, and other fish in a complete biological catastrophe. In New Zealand, the downpour shifted some loose ground and a deadly landslide. We've been trained on that rain, headed there for days. Cresting Portugal and Spain right now is a solid low pressure cell, bringing warnings with high temperatures out in front of the helix. Tropical development in the Caribbean, not likely to become a hurricane, but we'll keep watching. Low crusting the Canadian west coast has rain on deck while the primary convergence is over Oklahoma. Set to bring severe weather tonight, but the rain itself extends well northeast, even up into Canada. Solar wind shows a hitch this morning. Density and speed were falling, with plasma temperature rising actually, but then they went the other way a few hours ago, setting a ding on the magnetometers and taking a cut at the electron flux. Flaring is slowly creeping higher. There is major development coming in down south and one just north of the equator as well. Magnetic mixing has us watching the whole group today. The umbral field is open and opening further. The coronal holes are here and that's a pretty good lead into the rest of the video. Hey folks, this story begins in 2007 when things on earth really began to change. For the long version about this, you must watch the video Energy from Space. But for today's topic, the most important thing to remember is the longer term fading of the Sun and Earth's magnetic fields. But more recently, 2007 brought coronal hole anomalies. They left their normal polar position for a solar minimum and appeared to gear up the already ongoing shift. The Sun and all planets are changing, oddly Earth is getting it light. Energy from space details these changes, including this, the overcharging out of control in the F1 layer, one of many changes at Earth. Coronal holes are especially important with electromagnetics fading on Earth, Sun, and changing throughout the system. They are areas where umbral fields part atop the surface, allowing the outward magnetic power of the Sun to spew faster solar wind, but also, it essentially acts like the giant sphere magnet of the Sun temporarily aiming a stronger magnetic force at Earth, another sphere magnet, underneath which lies electric layers, ground currents, and large hunks of metal underground. That magnetism makes me think of earthquakes. The mechanisms of change could be more macro, such as orbital radius or angular momentum shifts for the entire planet, but at this point, speculation about such a mechanism is secondary to revealing the pattern. Let's look at the largest quake since the coronal holes began acting up. 